In the meantime, it sounds like Alec Ness. <laughs> in the meantime, his promotional efforts are being blessed of God. And between Glenn Thash, Thrasher and Brother Bombay, the youth department is growing by leaps and bounds. That was a characteristic of his ministry then, back in 1959. His ministry is growing by leaps and bounds. What impressed me about him is when I first met him, he reminded me so much of Mr. Pentecost. <laughs> And uh, when I see him, I always think about that. There's a real Pentecostal, Holy Ghost, heaven-sent, God-fearing man. As a matter of fact, he was so God-fearing that I feared him. <laughs> Honestly, we had, a, we had a prayer meeting, and we were praying, and, and Pastor Ken was on his knees, and I really felt to pray for him. And, and he was going to be preaching, I believe, that weekend. And I, I felt to pray for him. And normally, when I pray for someone, I like to make contact with them. So I walked over, and I was, I was about to touch him. I laid my hands on him, and I got scared. <laughs> and this thought came inside of me, how dare you touch this holy man of God? <laughs> so I just walked away. And I just started praying in my, in my heart, in my thoughts. And... I have a way about me that sometimes if I really respect somebody, I dare not touch them uh, unless I contaminate them with whatever I have. <laughs> so I honored him and I revered him very much as a man who loves Pentecost. He's a man that there are few men like him. You see, how many of you are here from a Pentecostal background? All right, some of you are. What happened to the rest of you? <laughs> well, for those of you who know the Pentecost and the Pentecostal experience, we need to pray that that spirit that was poured out in Acts 2 would not be some archaic, historic Amen. memory. Amen. Amen. Amen? Because on many churches, the only Pentecostal experience you will have is with, is with the sign that you read before you enter the church. Amen. And after that, it's all downhill and lost. And our desire is to have some of this anointing rub out on us before God calls them home. Because God knows we need a remnant that will restore and keep the book of Acts alive in this generation. I will not be intimidated by the intellectual and the Lord's school of learning. They call it higher, but I don't think so. I would like Pastor Ken and Sister Joan to come here. And we're just going to offer a word of prayer with them. Is that all right? Yes. I want to thank you so graciously from my heart to come out and make this evening possible for those who participated and those who are just here. And, uh, and if you, normally we call up our board members and elders, but if you, the congregation, some of you have traveled from far, and you're from Kitchener and different places, if you've traveled and you've been really impacted by this ministry, why don't you come and join me? Would you do that? Just slip out of your seat. I know the whole congregation came up. <laughs> <laughs> but when some of you come, just, I welcome you to come. Let's just, and just, if you're not afraid to touch him, then lay your hands on him. <laughs> Hallelujah. And just in honor of this godly man, would you stand with me, those of you standing in your pews? Would you stretch one hand towards heaven and one towards them tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead and pray. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. We worship you. We bless your name, O God. Hallelujah. We thank you, O God. We thank you for the spirit of the living God. 
that takes us from the dust of the earth and breathes into our nostrils the breath of life. We thank you, O oh God, for breathing into, O oh God, Pastor Ken and Sister Joan. Hallelujah. Your breath, O oh God, breathing into them the breath of the living God and calling them not only to salvation, Lord, but unto the holy calling, the mantle of the anointing that is upon their lives tonight, Father. We thank you for them tonight, Lord. We thank you for the faithfulness that you imparted in them. We thank you for the years of toil and trials that they have, Lord, persevered through. And today, Lord, they're standing at the altar of the Lord with the faithful surrounding them, Lord, of your faithfulness. And we bless them in your name tonight, Father. We thank you that you have strengthened them to carry on the call of God upon their lives until you bid them to yourself, Jesus. And we pray, Lord, that as long as they are on earth, Lord, that they will continue to minister under the power of the anointing and under the unction of the Holy Spirit. And the signs that are written in Corinthians and in the book of Acts will continue to follow and accompany their ministry, we pray, Father. We thank you for good health. We thank you, O God, for all provision on both of you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. May many sons and many daughters be risen up, even in this latter hour, we pray, as a result of their love for you, Father. We thank you now, Jesus. As he preaches your word tonight, may we hear the word of the living God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for making this night possible. 